King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. There's an expression, Alex. The stripes on a tiger are hard to change. And I never doubt the ability of some folks that have wrong to make things right. But for nearly 30 years, this man right here has shown us exactly who he is. Yes, that's true. But we haven't seen that side of uh, the fallen engine in a long time. And just like you saw in the video package that just played before this. I mean, the Christopher Daniels and Yuri Yamura went all the way to the finals, but they did not win. They had another tag team match versus TMGK. They lost again, and that is when Christopher Daniels has had it. <laughs> to a higher standard, and he said that Yuya failed him. And now we get to see the Christopher Daniels of the old, what we used to see. I think it's unfair to say the young man, Yuya Yomura, failed Daniels. It was a team effort. It is tag team wrestling. And, I can, I can, and as much as you can point to that bulldog being interrupted, I can point to several points in that match where maybe Daniels didn't, didn't connect. Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> I'm gonna say this once and I'll say it slowly so all the morons and the meth addicts can understand me perfectly. Why did he point at me? I am the king of Southern California. That is a fact. A legend. And I am the most important professional wrestler to ever come out of Southern California. That is true, I mean, he is the top dog. Los Angeles is the city of angels, my city! Wasn't Hulk Hogan, former IWGP heavyweight champion? And if you're gonna put my city's name on a dojo, you better put out top-notch talent. But LA Dojo, you're not. You are putting out mediocrity oh. and failures, and no one is a bigger failure than Yuya Uemura. <laughs> Yuya, I tried to make you a champion. I tried to take you under my ring, but all you did was fail and fail and fail again. We just saw him get the pin in the semifinals. And I'm at the point in my career where I shouldn't have to put up with failure on my team. Yu Yo Uramura, I don't want to have anything to do with you, but if you want to challenge me to a singles match, that's fine. I will destroy you in the middle of this ring right here and right now. And when I'm done, I'm going to burn the LA Dojo to the ground. Wow. Now take nothing away from Christopher Daniels. I was in the building. I called the match where he won the Ring of Honor World Championship in this building. I've called matches where he's won the Ring of Honor Tag Team title. He was an Impact multi-time Tag Team Champion. He is a certified Hall of Famer. But if he can't look in the mirror and accept the same amount of blame that he just issued Yuya Uemura, then he's living in a fantasy world, Alex. Look, Yuya Uemura lost an important part. Oh, here we go! When it mattered. He lost when it mattered. And Yuya, real fiery right now, attacking Christopher Daniels. And look at this. The bell has rung. He has not let Daniels go. Oh, oh. 
Well, Yuri Amuri needs to keep his emotions in check but, because it's going to be to his detriment. And oh! now on the outside, right in front of us here in the broadcast position. Uemura sending Daniels back in. He has been on top of Daniels, not letting him even breathe at this point. And we've seen the growth of Uemura, those huge victories. We saw it in the video package. He, he, cre he crafted the plan to beat TMDK. He pitched it. Christopher Daniels crafted oh. the plan. It was up to Yui Amura to execute. And he didn't execute when it mattered. Christopher Daniels doesn't have patience for failure. Oh! Ho, ho. Well, look, Yui Amura is doing real good right now. He's been dominant in the first few minutes of this match, but he's gonna, he's gonna burn all his energy. He needs to conserve himself. He's going against one of the best. And it's Uemura. At the referee's discretion, giving space to Daniels here. Oh, and he just took off those trunks. Those were given to him as a gift by Daniels. Oh, come on. Oh, now. Oh, no. Well, that's just disrespectful. That is uh, not the way that you treat and the Southern California's best. And the referee making it worse at this point, trying to yank him away, choking Daniels. And Uemura shedding the skin, quite literally. Southern California's best. I, uh, Daniel's definitely a Hall of Famer, but has he, hasn't he ever heard of IWGP Heavyweight Champion Hulk Hogan? Hasn't he heard of, of the Young Bucks, former IWGP Tag Team Champions? I They're, mean, we, we've heard of him, but Christopher Daniels, I mean, the pedigree. Oh! Flapjack there. All that he's been able to accomplish. And Uemura. Sizing up Daniels, charging in, sets him up and over. Wow. Yui Amura on fire. Very dominant in the early parts of this match. But if he wants, if he wants some retrib retribution, defend his own honor. Wow. wow. Putting his body at risk here with that dive over the top. Putting Christopher Daniels down. He's gonna need to get the pin. He needs Christopher Daniels inside that ring. And you're absolutely right, Alex. That that show budding, the celebration gave Daniels a window. Those are the moments in this match that he's going to need to take advantage of and not give back to Daniels. Although he's looking to do permanent. Oh, no! Permanent damage on the outside to Daniels. I have never seen this level of aggression from the young Yui Yamura. Which is wild to say, because think about the battles against Brody King, where we do, we needed to see this kind of aggression, this fire. Oh, this kind of aggression, exactly. Five. And this might Six. be the missing piece. Daniels, in, in his egomaniacal trip that he's taken here, he may have brought the best out of Yuri Uemura. It certainly seems that way. I mean, Yuri Uemura is taking it personally that Christopher Daniels is putting all the blame on, on Yuri Uemura. And a neck breaker using the mane of Uemura to just snap that neck over the top. Oh, man, rough clothesline from behind. And those, Alex, you, you've been on the receiving end of clotheslines like that. You, you can't defend them. You don't know they're coming. No, and the whiplash that you feel with well, your neck snapping back, it, it's a very uncomfortable and dangerous position to be in. And Daniel's targeting that neck. He sees something there that he likes. Into the cravat, Snapmare takeover. Daniels knee to the two. Caught him in the collarbone there as he gets a two count. Daniels bleeding from the arm, it appears. That right bicep. Again, the cravat really cranking it in. Shots to the midsection here. Irish whip, drop kick, nobody home. And again, those are those moments, those microseconds. That's where Daniels oh. win, wins matches. He outsmarts you on the outskirts of the match. That's right. He didn't even have to do anything there. It was all Yuri Amur with that high drop kick, falling, collapsing on his back. And again, a great game plan. He knows that Uemura is arguably in physically better condition. He knows that he's a little bit Ooh, faster, yeah. a little Five bit minutes stronger. Minutes. Five minutes. But Daniels has faced bigger and stronger, faster athletes his whole career. It's the mental game that Daniels plays so well. That's why he has the Hall of Fame level resume he does. And he's a really oh. good strategist. He, he always has a good plan. 
for his matches. That is what got them to the finals. And if only Yui Yamura could execute, we wouldn't be in this situation here. Alex, we get along real well, but I have to disagree. Again, Daniels can bear just as much responsibility as team wrestling, but look at these close fists to the neck. I don't know that I've ever seen this before. You can't even defend yourself. Yuya Moore is defenseless right now. Those are some hard punches to the back of the head. Not the most legal punches. The referee has had a hard time maintaining control of this match from the very get-go. I don't blame him. These two have just been on each other nonstop. Oh, great neck breaker again, using the leverage, the body movement. One, two. Two count there. He just uses his movement against him. And I love how he's continuing to put the pressure on that neck. This absolutely packed house here, Samstown. Bearing witness to this grudge match here. They've been great hosts here in Las Vegas. Here on week three. Oh, of the Autumn Action Tour. Going to the top. High risk maneuver. Front face lock. Maybe looking for a superplex. Yuya fighting out. Giving oh. up his own head, maybe oh. his neck as well. Daniels, it, it buys Yuya some time. But again, that damage, that headbutt was a risk for Yuya. And there's, there's the shotgun drop kick. But he, I think he also took some damage on his head there with that drop kick. Uh, the way that he landed on the mat, he can't capitalize. And, and believe it or not, I've been in a ring. I know the damage your body takes just from hitting the mat. And the way his neck snapped back as he landed on that shotgun drop kick. But he's trying to fight through with adrenaline. Trying to fight through. Oh, oh, with pure grit. The adrenaline pumping now. Going from the neutral corner to another. High cross body. Wrist lock, Irish whip, reverse. Daniel sends Yuya into the corner, charging in. Boot connects. Second rope on the inside. It's Yuya. Oh, oh. with the bulldog. Hooks the leg. One, two. Two count there. Still holding on to that neck. Every maneuver, the, a, a, any offense that he attempts on Christopher Daniels, he's also hurting himself a little bit. Well, and, and I invite anybody to think about when you take a long plane ride, three, four, five hours, just the way that your neck is stiff. Imagine that times probably 10 or 15. Imagine every movement just radiating through your body. That's where Yuya is right now, Alex. Catches him. Oh, plants him. Spicoli driver, cover one, two. Slipping out the shoulder, looking for a Koji clutch. He has it here. Yuya smartly shifting the hips, getting some of the pressure off, but he's in a weird in-between zone where that neck is in trouble. Making it to the ropes, referee sees it here, forcing the break. And Daniels, and, and Daniels drawing with our referee here. Almost intimidating the official for this match here. Oh, but that gave him an opening. And Yuya, oh! Yuya Moore going for the Hurricanrana. What was one of the ways that he's won those couple of tag team matches. But Christopher Daniels had him scouted, dropped him on his neck, continuing that work on that neck. And look, one thing we know about Yuya Moore, he's not gonna stop fighting until he can't no more, until he, his body can't go on anymore. Butterflying the arms, Angel's wings countered. Double underhook, stacks oh. him. Two, Two three, oh. he got him! He got him! I cannot believe what I just witnessed. I do not believe what I just witnessed, Ian. Yuya Uemura blocked the Angels' wings. What a Christopher Daniels signature finishing move. Double leg. Oh, and Daniels. More cowardly behavior from Christopher Daniels.
far as Daniels is concerned, this match isn't over. An absolute atrocity. Oh, no. Oh. He's going for that neck. He's going for the kill. He's going to drop him on his neck. Plants him by the tombstone pile driver. There was nothing Yuya could do about it. This is absolutely saddening because Daniels had taken this young man under his wing. We saw Yuya turn the corner in large part to Christopher Daniels. And then not only to end the relationship, but to turn his back on him and now threatening his career. Angels! Oh. just learn of the evil that Christopher Daniels is capable of. It's been over five years since we've seen this side of Christopher Daniels. I like it. And, and if I said I was shocked, that, would, that wouldn't be the truth. Tigers don't wow. often change their stripes. And this is incredible. This is I can't believe you. I can't believe him. I can't believe you. you're cheering this. I mean, you, sh you should be clapping if, if this version of Christopher Daniels comes close to you. I mean, look what he just did to Yu Yamura. Now, let's not forget, Yu Yamura is the winner of this match. Right. He doesn't look like it, though. Christopher Daniels is the man leaving on his feet. Yu Yamura is currently being tended to by our our, our trainers, our officials. You might need a stretcher. They, they've made sure that there's movement. I saw him move his fingers, which is a sign, a likely sign that there is no permanent damage. I saw him move his other extremities, another likely sign that there's no permanent damage. But even if it's not permanent, even if it puts this young man on the shelf for a month, three months, six months, those are months he'll never get back. And Daniels, win or lose, was looking to just make this man's life miserable. And he succeeded. Hello, welcome everyone to Autumn Action Week 3 here on NJPW Strong. Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov, and Alex, what a main event we have. Wow. <laughs> Former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Shingo Takagi taking on Rocky Romero, a history maker trailblazer here in New Japan. What an encounter in our main event. Well, this is going to be a really, really fun match to, to watch. I mean, I'm really impressed with Rocky Romero challenging the former world IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. This is going to be something. That's the first time you've ever complimented Rocky here on New Japan Strong. I'm proud of you. You were tag team champions in Ring of Honor. You were IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Did, did something change? Is, yeah, is, is the autumn air healing old wounds? We're in Vegas. You know, okay. I'm feeling good. Well, I appreciate that, and I'm sure Rocky does as well. And I appreciate our opening contest, which we will see Jarrell Nelson, Royce Isaacs of Team Filthy take on a team of Gregory Sharp and Jacob Austin Young, who are from the United States, but teamed in China, were quite successful, and that this should be a heck of an encounter. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, Gregory Sharp and Jacob Austin Young, these two guys, you know, they were discovered at the L.A. Dojo camp. Mm -hmm. You know, Shibata oversaw that camp, uh, Tanahashi. So they have something, they have a lot of potential. But they're going up against the West Coast Wrecking Crew, and they may just get wrecked. And the match I'm looking forward to the most, it's a grudge match. Christopher Daniels, Yuya Uemura, one on one. We saw the disappointment in the eyes of Christopher Daniels when he and Yuya lost in the finals of the tournament to crown the first ever strong openweight tag team championship. And we saw the disappointment and the shock in the eyes of Yuya as Christopher Daniels turned his back on his young partner. I, I can't believe it, but I'm so glad. I'm so glad Yuya has the opportunity to get a little bit of revenge here tonight, Alex. Absolutely, and it was heartbreaking, and it was shocking. We haven't seen this side of the Fallen Angel in a long time. So, you know, I'm excited about this. And Yuya, you know, let's see what he can do with the Fallen Angel. Well, let's waste no more time. Let's kick things off with our opening tag team contest. 
This week on New Japan Strong. Saturday on NJPWWorld.com and on Fight TV.